So here is a view of the Great Sphinx from above. Observe that the statue is situated within an excavated pit. Until the early 1800s, the Sphinx was actually buried in sand up to its shoulders. Originally, the head of the statue was carved from a natural outcropping of stone to make the rest of the sculptor's body appear to be digging into the bedrock. As a result, it is lower than its surrounding surface and becomes unmaintained and sand-filled over time. You will notice that the statue's nose has been removed for some time. Some tales claim that Napoleon shot off with a cannon when he arrived in Egypt, and that 17 other 18th century drawings, such as the nose, were missing long before some scholars believe that the Sphinx we see today was even completed. There is evidence of the use of large cell blocks, toolkits, and even lunch pills and bands midwork. 